I'm Zach. And I'm Darcy. Did you know that pornography doesn't have to destroy you or your marriage? We're the parents of eight active members of the Church of Jesus Christ, the Latter-day Saints, and we love to help people just like you. We're here to share hope and healing as we take you through our journey and the journeys of our amazing clients to greater joy and love. Come grow with us to a happier, more meaningful life. Welcome Welcome to to the the Self Mastery Mastery Podcast. Podcast. Hey, everybody, and welcome to another beautiful Mastery Monday here on the Self Mastery Podcast. I'm your host, Zach Spafford. Listen, I got something for you guys. You might, I, I'm here to help you overcome pornography. You guys know that, right? <laughs> I just want to let you know that there's some stuff that's going to change. That's all. I'm not going to tell you what it is right now, but I'm going to tell you something a little bit later in this podcast. But these last few weeks have been a great deep dive into how you can really begin to move past pornography by not just focusing on pornography, but focusing on how you can become the person you want to be. By the way, I just want to thank all of you who have written in and said how much this has helped you. That's kind of awesome, actually, that you guys are like, hey, you know what? This changed my life. So thank you for sending that in to me. If you have a second, just take a moment and write a review. That helps people find us and all of this great content more than anything else you could do. Uh, You know, share it, obviously, with as many people as you can, but writing reviews helps people find this. So please do that. Many of you know that I am all about an evidence-based approach to overcoming pornography. You've probably listened to my episode about how pornography is not an addiction and the book by Dr. Lance Dotis. Uh, You may know Cam Staley, who is a PhD researcher out of the University of Idaho, a really great guy, quite like him. You are probably thinking, okay, yes, we know that you like evidence. So not only do I have the evidence from my own journey that I've shared with you, One of the components of my coaching to overcoming pornography is based in acceptance and commitment coaching. I call it ACC, which comes from acceptance and commitment therapy. Now, I'm not a therapist, but I have studied the techniques and processes and systems that have helped thousands of men and women end their pornography struggle, and I've done it myself. Like, this is not pie in the sky. This is not, hey, you know what? Let me tell you a theory, and I will help you figure it out. That's not it this is real life. This is my journey. You are like, yeah, I need somebody who's been there. You know, I always talk about, I have an MBA and I've been in business for a long time before I became a coach. Yeah. I was in insurance and I loved it. And I did some other things. I did some great, cool stuff. And I always think about who's the guy that I would come to. Who's the person that I would go to if I needed help running my business. I wouldn't even go to a Yale or a Harvard business school professor. I would go to a guy who's actually lived the process. Some of you guys know Gary V, cool guy. I listen to his stuff. I don't listen to a guy who works for Harvard. I don't, because I want to know what it looks like to actually be in the trenches. And that's why I use ACC. And the coaching that I do is based in both my real life experience and acceptance and commitment coaching. And in acceptance and commitment coaching, there's a principle called the choice point. It is one of the key principles of ACC that I use in the membership, which has been closed now to members, to new members for a little bit, a little while. But I will tell you this, this month, I'm launching a new platform that will make it so you can download a single app and get all the great content on your phone. So I'm looking forward to it. And when it's ready, I will open up the membership to anybody who wants to join. So keep an eye out for that. When I talk about choice point, though, I want to go back to choice point because that's really the point of what we're talking about. I want you to imagine a narrow, long road that you're traveling. You're just out there in the woods. And I always picture a Midwest road in the fall. So it's beautiful. It's cool. It's damp. The leaves are falling. There's all these colors. That's the road that I <laughs> that I imagine. Your road might be totally different. Yours, yours might be in the desert. And you probably know the poem by Robert Frost, Two Roads Diverged in a Wood. And I, I took the one less traveled by. And that has made all the difference. So I want you to imagine you're standing there at that same crossroad that Robert Frost talks about. And only instead of figuring out which one is the less traveled road, you're going to apply a different calculus. You're going to apply a different set of rules. If you recall back to October of last year, I did two episodes, one called Overcome Pornography by Choosing Values Instead of Goals, and the following one, the one right after that, so it was episode like 108 and 109, Overcoming Pornography by Practicing the Values We Have. If you want to go back to those after you listen to this to help you determine you know, what your values are, they will be excellent resources for the choice point exercise that we're about to discuss. 
most of us are living a life in a way that we simply react to a lot of what's going on around us. It's just reactions. We don't often think about why we do the things we do, and we often simply make decisions without giving them much thought. This is a really, it's, I mean, it's pretty normal. It's a habitual way of making choices. It's super normal, super helpful, actually, because if we don't do this, we would actually have enormous mental and decision fatigue by about 9 a.m. every single day. So every day would just be like just too tired to make any other decisions. But when it comes to pornography, one of the key elements of most people's habitual use is found in this same idea. We've made the decision so many times before that we've lowered what I like to call the consent threshold or the threshold that we have to consent to making the decision. And our decision is really made in a pretty automatic way. So the choice point is a visualization of the crossroads that we come to every time we encounter the discomfort that we want to avoid that often leads to pornography viewing. Using the choice point and a little bit of a pause, each of us can make decisions that more fully align with our values. <laughs> now, some of you are like, what? Is this the only thing I need to know? <laughs> no. This is not a silver bullet. You're not likely to automatically stop viewing pornography because you visualize this imaginary fork in the road. But when this is coupled together with a number of the other skills I teach in the membership and with my individual coaching clients, it can be a useful tool in your skill set. So here we are at this crossroads and the two roads are ahead of you. And to your left, we have what we call away moves or the away road. And to your right, we have toward moves or the toward road. Away moves are traveling down a path that takes you away from your values. And the toward road, as you may have guessed, takes you towards your values. You can see now, I'm sure, as you listen to this, you're like, oh yeah, of course, I need to know what my values are. Because if you don't, then how do you know which direction to move? So still, just imagining, right? We're standing there, we take a pause, maybe 10 deep breaths, maybe we just step back mentally, from our brain, from what our brain is telling us, and we just start observing where we are and what choices we're gonna make. And then I want you to imagine taking the away road. I want you to see what's down there and how it ends and how you feel when you've completed that journey and what that actually looks like at the end. Now I want you to imagine taking the toward road. What's down there? How does this end? How do you feel when you've completed that journey? And that's, it's as simple as that. It's a simple, simple process. If you are willing to try it, Take some time right now and see how it works. So, you know, if you've got a small decision in your life you want to make right now, this is a perfect little experiment we'll run together. And by the way, you might need to do this like 92 and a half times before you get any good at it. So just don't be discouraged. But the key here is to try it. Get used to it in your daily life and use it to be the gatekeeper for some of those automatic decisions that are not currently in line with your values. Again, it's not going to be a silver bullet, but the more you try it, the more likely it is to work and the more likely you are to align your actions with the values that you really love. I love you guys. Um, you know, keep going. If you're out there and you're listening to this, you're like, ah, whatever, choice point, that's fine. Just keep going. Keep listening. Keep doing the things that I teach you. Just try them out. And one day, they will work. And the better you get at all of them, so like get good at one at a time, tiny little bits, and in the long run, you're going to aggregate, do what I call aggregation of marginal gains, right? You've, you've probably heard that term. And you're going to get so good that you're going to be way better than you are now. I've been where you are, and I know how to get you from where you are now to the place where you want to be. So let my experience guide you. All right, my friends, we'll talk to you next week. Bye. Thanks for listening to the Self Mastery Podcast. Imagine you sitting next to your loved one and no longer bogged down by the greatest trial of your life. Each month, I offer a free webinar that you can attend where you can get your questions answered about how you can break free from pornography use. Take a moment now and go to the website, zackspafford.com slash free call, and you can sign up for free. You don't want to miss out on this amazing opportunity to ask questions, learn a new skill, and even get coached live if you like. We'll see you then. Thanks for listening to Thrive Beyond Pornography. If you're seeking guidance and support to overcome pornography for good and begin creating a thriving life beyond it, check out my free webinar, How to Overcome Pornography with Skills that Actually Work. You'll learn practical, proven skills guided by an expert coach who has personally overcome pornography. Whether you're getting started for just yourself or along with your spouse, Darcy and I can teach you the tools 
that will help you put your life on the right path for you. Be sure to check out the show notes for a direct link. And if you could take a moment to leave a review wherever you listen to podcasts, it would mean the world to us. Your reviews play a significant role in helping others discover the show so they can join us on this transformative journey. Thank you for being part of the Thrive Beyond Pornography community. Until our next episode, stay strong, stay focused, and keep thriving.